Hello. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> that was really loud. All right, guys. So this is a class about speaking to the media. So I hope you guys are OK with that. If not, you can leave. <laughs> so I want everyone right now to stand up for me, please. Stand up. OK, I have a couple of questions for you guys. I want you to yell yes or no to this question right now. Um, who is part of a startup here? Yell yes or no on the count of three. One, two, three, go. Again, louder, because I can't hear you guys. One, two, three, go. Yes. <laughs> All right, who in here has done an interview before? Yell yes or no. One, two, three, go. Yes. Oh, that's a lot of people. OK, last question. Who is nervous to do an interview? Yes or no? Go. No. Yes. <laughs> so there's a little bit of you guys who are or not. OK. I want everyone to sit down. I just kind of wanted to harness that energy so you guys can learn a few cool things. Before I get started, um, just a little bit about myself. My name is Chris, and I've spent the last 15 years working on television sets, on production studios, and basically figuring out what everyone's story is. I've done hundreds of interviews because what's my passion is to find out what makes people tick. What's an ordinary person doing, doing an extraordinary thing? And so now here I am in Saudi Arabia, and I'm trying to teach uh, entrepreneurs and startups how to tell their story to the media. And so that's what we're going to be focusing on today. <clears throat> All right, so enough of that. Now let's get on to the cooler things. Uh, can anybody tell me what these guys here have in common? Who? Yell it out louder. I can't hear. Superheroes. Dude, that was really fast. I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Yes, these are superheroes. Has anybody heard of the hero's journey? Nobody? OK. Well, this guy, Joseph Campbell, decided to extract literature from centuries, tales of heroes in history, to figure out what every single superhero had in common. And what he found was that the same components existed in every single story. So I'm talking about like your Hercules, your Star Wars, every single hero has similar components in their story. So essentially, this is how it goes. You're a hero who feels a little ordinary, but you think that there's something wrong, and there's a calling. You need to do something different. There's the protest period with the hero where they think, oh my god, I can't do this. Like, I'm not good enough. I don't know how, this is, like, how I'm supposed to do whatever I'm supposed to do. However, there's a life-changing moment that happens for them. And they decide, even though they're really scared of doing whatever they need to do, they go through with it anyways, because they feel that if they can't answer the call, they're, it, it's like they can't, if they don't answer the call, then it's, it's like their life stops. So they take that leap of faith. Eventually, along the way, they like will meet a mentor, and that mentor will help them during really tough times when um, they can call on their wisdom and figure out like, what am I doing? So then, the hero returns, transformed with his uh, newfound treasure or power. And that power is essentially to change the world. So I think this relates a lot to what you do as a startup, right? Because you see a problem, and you decided to disrupt, because you felt the need to change something. This is one of my favorite co quotes by Joseph Campbell. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. And I think it has a lot to do with going in and telling your story to the media because it's really scary. And if you don't do it right, sometimes you feel like you can look bad on camera or to a journalist. So this is what I'm going to hopefully help you guys with today. I want to equip you with this fire-breathing dragon, per se which is the tools you need in order to succeed when you're talking with the media. There are three things 
that I'm going to teach you, super simple. Three things that you need to know if you are going to be speaking with the media. Now, like I said, if there's any journalists or media or reporters in here, um, this is based on my experience. So <laughs> hopefully nobody takes too much offense to what I'm about to say. Um, first, I'm going to talk about your story. Then we're going to go into your manners, kind of things that you guys might not be aware of that you're doing on camera, and how to also answer tough questions, as well as give your best version of yourself on camera. OK, so before we go in to the part of how to tell your story, I want to get into a little bit of the backstory, which is inside the minds of reporters. So I like to say, me personally, as a news reporter and a producer, um, it's kind of like getting the attention of like a really excited puppy. <laughs> um, a lot of journalists have a very short attention span. And a lot of this has to do with the fact that you're always thinking in the back of your head, your word count for a story, the deadline you're about to face. Um, the amount of time to the very second that your story is going to be. So this also can come across as impatient or very hasty when you're dealing with a reporter or journalist because you're thinking about the seven interviews you have to do that same day, the deadline that you're going to be meeting because you have to edit and write everything down and produce it and then send it off to your editor. The other important thing to know is that journalists and reporters are very observant. So this is, from my own personal experience, I feel that every person needs to be on point as soon as they meet or see a journalist. Act like you're always being recorded. Everything from like the socks you're wearing to your mannerisms to how you're dressed, people observe that. And that's not a bad thing necessarily. If you are the best version of yourself while you're in front of a reporter or journalist, then it's going to add color or profile to your story, your startup story. And it's actually going to make the story come to life. OK, so now I'm going to get into these three things, like I said, that you need in order to succeed for the media. OK, number one is story. OK, can anybody here tell me what an elevator pitch is? Come on, brave volunteer, anybody. <laughs> OK, so 20 second interview with a decision maker. Do you have an elevator pitch? No? <laughs> All right, does anybody else have an elevator pitch in here? Yes, back here. OK. No, 20 seconds. I mean, that's a good. Go ahead. What, did, what were you about to say? Uh, we built the first Arabic-focused social media listening platform that help companies and agencies to understand people's opinion on social media. OK. Are you happy that's with it. your elevator pitch? Yeah, so far it works. It works? <laughs> OK, great. So you feel like it's very useful to have something that's super short that you're able to talk about? Definitely. OK. So. I want to talk about the elevator pitch in, front of, um, in terms of um, media. <clears throat> elevator pitch is supposed to be 30 seconds of telling your story to the media. And I kind of want to go through this right now as far as what you need to do in order to succeed. Does everyone have a pen and paper? OK. So we're going to do this exercise right now. I want you to answer one sentence for each question. So one sentence for what do you do? What problem do you solve? How are you different? And the most important question is, why should people care? So I'm going to give you guys five minutes to do this right now. And I want you to write it down, all right? OK, it starts now. <laughs> I'll put on some music for creative.
All right, the reason why I'm having you guys write this down now is we're going to use it later. So make sure that you put some time into it. Use those five minutes. <laughs> Yes, the public. Yes. So it's this is for the media. So it's the general audience and the public, not venture capitalists, not investors. It's, it's Two and a half minutes, guys. Questions? Raise your hand if you. I'll come over there. Okay. okay. If you guys aren't part of a startup but still want to do this exercise, you can talk about who you are or your job. It doesn't have to be about a startup. You're an entrepreneur you don't have your startup, you make it up. Yeah. Something you want to do in the future. <laughs> 